Hi everyone, HydroSimp here from the Total Miner community channel, also known as Dig Deeper. Now, this video is a quick one where I wanted to explore this thing that someone in the community known as Xbox Live, I'm assuming that's what it is, Toothpick or XBL Toothpick, excuse me, uh, has made infinite worlds in Total Miner. Now, this is something uh, pretty new and uh, possibly very unstable. He has noticed, uh, noted that there's uh, some great amount of bugs and stuff. Uh, so we're just going to play and go ahead and test out what infinite dig deep would be like, something that's been on my mind for a very long time. So here we go. I'm just going to, I guess we'll go my texture pack. <laughs> yeah, uh, start game. We'll just see how it is. It might crash, it might not. Uh, we'll just give it a go and see what it's like, yeah. Um, infinite World by XBL to pick heart. Ah. I uh, don't know what that. I'm gonna um, turn my. I'm gonna set this to right hand only, because um, I'm not too keen on the controls. It is obviously a bit laggy, of course. Uh, well, not not very laggy, but it is of course slow loading terrain. That is obviously because it is an infinite world. So right now, this is a dig deep world. The uh, blueprint finder seems to be completely eliminated from the left hand side there. That is because the Dig Deep isn't actually out yet, and I'm not sure if Xbox Live Toothpick disabled us himself, or if um, it's simply uh, a side effect of an infinite map on Dig Deep, or maybe in the most recent patch, Craig disabled it. So uh, we don't know yet, but the creator of the game, aka Craig, is actually very, very close to patch and dig deep, so of course we're just going to keep walking in this direction and see how this infinite world fares. Uh, the music is a bit loud, I'm going to turn it down. I keep turning it down, but uh, for some reason it keeps turning itself back up. Don't know why, but we're just going to keep walking. If you wonder what this uh, texture pack is, sorry if it's a bit self-advertisement kind of thing, but um, this is the texture pack that I'm working on. It looks a bit too much like this other texture pack, so I'm going to have to change it up a bit. Maybe make the grass a little bit uh, darker or something. I'm thinking maybe darker because it does. Well, I'll show you the texture pack it looks like. This will give it time. While I'm showing you the graph, uh, the graph, uh, the texture pack, it'll give the world time to load in more. Uh, it looks a lot like Vision Eyes. See, this is Vision Eyes by someone else. Total smoothness by me. Uh, so yeah, I'd you know, can I get your guys' thoughts on that in the comments? So yeah, we're gonna keep walking on and uh, see what's happening. I'm not going to be reviewing the survive, the infinite survival world and infinite creative world in this video. I'll leave that to one of the other members on the uh, channel. So um, yeah, we're going to do a few tests on this. We're going to walk on obviously to see how far it generates and then we're going to quickly hop into creative on this map and we're going to see how well uh, the 3000 block deep uh, situation is going when it's of course infinite. So we're going to keep walking on. Uh, so far, uh, so good. It does seem actually like it is, in fact, infinite. Because by now, uh, the world would have surely ran out. And he also mentioned that there would be some weird terrain effects. Like over there, for instance, this, um, this chunk of wood is missing right there. Two chunks of wood are missing. Uh, I don't know if trees are meant to be this tall. Uh, as I said, I've not played too much Total Miner in a long time, so I really wouldn't know too much about the uh, the terrain generation, but I do know messed up terrain generation when I see it, especially in a voxel type game. Um, so everything seems to be looking pretty smooth so far. Uh, we are definitely outside of the bounds that you would normally have on a normal Dig Deep world, so we're going to put it to the final test. <gasps> oh, excuse me again. Um, we are going to save and quit, and we're gonna load, we're gonna convert this into a creative map, and we're gonna fly on a ahead, and we're gonna grenade launch into the ground to see how deep it is. So infinite world, dig deep, a uh, creative terrain infinite. That's the new terrain type he added. It's infinite. Um, let's put. Oh no! I'd what am I doing? All right, start game. Uh, accept conversion. It might break on conversion, it might not. We never know, we never know, but we'll see anyway, we'll see. Alright, and here we are, we are back in it. So let's just hop into the old creative menu. Uh, weapons, 
get our trusty grenade launcher, because, well, I mean, what else are you going to do? All right. Oh. There we go. Um, let's fly on a bit, actually. We can push the game to its limits. So, yeah, the chunk loading is a bit slow, of course. Uh, but that's nothing to worry about, really. So, this is infinite. I'm not sure exactly how infinite. I know there's, like, people from the Minecraft community, like, and Oh! Yeah, there's some terrain. There's a, a little... There's the first little terrain, or big terrain error that we've seen. It appears the ground is made completely out of grass shaded. That's alright, though. That's just one little thing. As I said, as I said, it's just experimental. It's fine over here. Now, we're going to see if the world is, of course, still 300 blocks deep. So, we could just, you know, somehow use fancy commands, but to be honest, I don't know how you do that, and I like blowing stuff up. So, let's have a little quick, uh, let's fast forward the video, and we'll, we'll show you. Okay, and it appears, uh, appears that in this infinite uh, test world for Dig Deep, that the world is no longer Dig Deep Deep. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so um, this has been a quick wee short video. Uh, yet yeah, again, want to shout out to Xbox Live Toothpick for making this grand innovation and testing it out. It's great to see it happen, and hopefully uh, we can see it perfected sometime near future, maybe before Total Miner itself becomes infinite. Or maybe uh, the creator of Total Miner could probably uh, talk with uh, Xbox Live Toothpick kind of thing. So yeah guys, thank you for watching. Uh, leave a like, comment and subscribe. And as always, live long and prosper.